up guys this is jason again with sound design studio dot net um and the sound design studio dot net everything singular um if you guys don't know who we are we are full-fledged production company in dallas texas we provide sound lighting audio and video any kind of uh production you you have we do um check us out online um, if you guys need anything all over the U.S. Uh, but, oh, wait, before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, we want to make sure we stay in contact with you and you keep in contact with us. And then also feel free to leave some comments below. Uh, leave some nice comments, guys. Uh, I mean, you know, you can, you can express your feelings on there, but. I mean, these videos are just to help out some people. If if you need some help, uh, I'm not a Behringer rep. Um, this is just to kind of help some people since this is a newer console right now. When I'm posting this, you know, this might be, well, of course, this will be old in a couple of years. But, um, but right now, this is a fairly new console. So this is just to kind of help some people out um, and get them going. So... With that being said, let's jump into the video. Um, this video is going to be just over your tags. Um, I mean, I, I and just setting up the tags, and I mean, it's it's fairly simple. I mean, it it is simple. Um, it's over tags and and. <sighs> and and your scribble strips um uh, setting up your name and stuff like that um let's go ahead and switch over the screen so with your tags well let's let's start off with just naming or changing the name of your scribble strips or whatever so with channel one of course on the x32 you used to have to push a combination of stuff you had to hit the home button and then um i can't remember what else it is if i was looking at it i could tell you but now if you're in home you just click on customize now you can get to whatever color you want uh the little light to be at the top it's not the actual uh, scribble strip it's like a little light above the um scribble strip i mean bef above the label but um it's it's you know it it definitely works i don't know if you can see it so right here is the so let me let me put a color on this one so you can see what i'm talking about So, if you see it's little LEDs above where the names are. So, so don't think that where, um, like on the X32, where the name and the, the symbols were, that's going to change. That's not going to change. That's just going to be the same now. Uh, but above it, you'll you'll have it'll be color coded all right so but that'll work also within your tags and all that kind of stuff so let's go back to your your uh, my other screen all right so let's go back here but so so you can see that's the way you get off into there let's say channel one if I want to change the the scribble light, I can change the color there. If I want to name it, of course it says name. Type in your name and hit next. Now what I do like, you can hit next and it'll go to the next channel. That's cool. Um, I I I kind of 
honestly, I like, for me, I kind of like the, how the, the, um, the icons were on the very first, um, uh, X32 that came out before this bubbly type of look, but that's just my per personal opinion, uh, you know, uh, to each his own. But you have, you know, whatever you want to switch it to. You can, you know, of course, that you got the USB drive now. You, you know, you got like a amp rack type of deal and. All the different kind of stuff. So they added they added some different stuff in here um, that you can like a little SD card. Uh, you got your phone, uh, iPod. So all that different stuff is cool. And then you have, of course, your little preset names if you want to use some of those. And now you don't have to go through typing a lot of stuff. So so that's that's pretty cool. Or so you go here and you can, so now you can sit there and just change it to CD or hit there and hit turntable. So that's pretty cool, uh, which, you know, you can do some of that same stuff on the X32 already. Um, but for the most part, like I said, they did add some other little stuff. Um, wall speakers ceiling wall okay so that's that's your scribble strip and naming and all that um you have different you know different different emblems and icons now uh, that they've added to it uh, oh we've got they've, they've added a decent amount of stuff so you have that so now let's get out of here and go into your tags so with your tags um, the way that you do it is you sit there and you name your tag so let's name this um, let's name it test all right so now, what you can do, so that I put that on channel one, as you can see. So now, when I go to channel two, since I'm over here on channel two, I can just click on test and add that. I click on channel three and add that to test. Click on channel four, add that to test. Click on channel five, add that to test. Six, add that to test. Seven, test, you know, so on and so on. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me backspace that. Test, test. So also what I do like is, so let's go to the DCA. So now... What I like with the DCA, um, you can also add your DCA in there. So now at this point, actually, let's do this. Let's close this out and let's customize the DCA and and make the na name of the DCA uh test and they come out of this so now oh did I switch it Hold on a second, guys. I think I was in. Got 
Got you. So, okay. Let me go back. So, all I need to do. Sorry about that. So, instead of doing that, let's go to test, customize. Add this DCA in there. So now at this point, check, check, one, two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. Hold on. So now what you can do guys, you can go to your, so now what you can do guys, you can go, so now what you can do guys, you can go to your buses and let's say you can go to your bus and change the name of your, let's say change the name of your bus, uh, customize, let's change that to Test. All right. Check, check. Two, two. Two, two. Two, two. 